You need to be careful about what you say to an insurance adjuster on the phone after an accident because you may be settling your case without realizing what you've done. Hang on a few seconds and I'll explain what has to happen for a settlement to occur. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, a Northwest Indiana personal injury attorney and author of A Guide to Indiana Car Accident Claims. I recently received a phone call from an insurance adjuster who has taken the position that the car accident victim had settled their case before consulting my office. The adjuster said that they spoke to the person, they made an offer, and the person agreed to the offer. This brings up the question, when is a case settled? A personal injury settlement is a contract. The legal elements of a contract are offer, acceptance, and consideration. An offer is the insurance adjuster saying, I'll pay you five bucks. If you say yes, you've accepted the offer. There is valid consideration because money is changing hands. When talking about consideration, some folks use the term a bargained for exchange. What happens with some folks is they say yes on the phone, thinking that the contract has to be in writing. And then they get buyer's remorse and when the insurance adjuster sends them the settlement doctor documents, they just ignore the documents. This is a bad practice. It's gonna be difficult for the insurance company to prove up an oral contract, but they can prove up the contract. How do you know that your conversation with the insurance adjuster was not recorded for quality assurance purposes. So the better practice, so there's no misunderstanding, and so you understand what you're doing is saying, I appreciate your offer, can you put everything in writing, and I will go ahead and review it. That time you're forcing the insurance adjuster to put everything in writing to send it to you. During this period of time, if you have buyer's remorse, you can say, well, that is not the those are not the terms that I agreed upon, or you can say, I want to make changes, or you can consult somebody else. You don't want to be stuck in a position where you have a gotcha settlement, where they say, here's five bucks, you say okay because you think everything's okay, you go to work and speak to a coworker, or you go and speak to a lawyer, and they say, what you've done, you're going to put yourself behind the eight ball. If you have any questions about what encompasses a settlement, you can always give me a call. I am Guy DiMartino meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a great day.